Our demands are not new. The only one that appears to be new there is the threat of demolition of the agency's headquarters because they want to relocate them to Abuja. That is the only new thing there. The other one, or rather the other ones are uh, consequential adjustment to the minimum wage that every other institutions have been enjoying with the exception of aviation workers and conditions of service that we have reviewed but they refused to release. You may recall almost two years ago, over one year ago, we issued an ultimatum. We were called to Abuja with the intervention of the Minister of Labor. The Minister of Aviation was there as well. Uh, uh, all the head of the parastatus, salaries and wages, even representative of the head of service was there and they appealed to us on the consequential adjustment to the minimum wage and the conditions of service. We called it off. Nobody saw this. They said that by March ending, that was February last year, by March ending, everything will be resolved. We will begin to enjoy the consequential adjustment to the minimum wage that had been enjoyed by many people since 2019. 31st of March came, nothing happened. They came to Lagos, salaries and wages, negotiated, we crossed the T's, we dotted the I's. Until now, we are still faced with the same thing. The conditions of service are still being held by them and our members our members are now seeing us as toothless bulldog they said that we have compromised they've greased our palms that's why we couldn't do anything to their plight and you understand that this administration has just about five weeks left is this how it's going to be are we transferring it to the yes government is continuing but this administration spent eight years and we could not get conditions of service from them. So if we now begin when another one comes and we now begin to agitate ferociously, it will appear as if oh, there is a kind of hatred being vented on the incoming administration. Our people are tired. And you know things are not the same as they were 10 years ago. How can we be using a conditions of service that is outdated? That is what they are using for us. And we say enough is enough now. Enough is enough. It is better to stay at home than being at work without knowing what you are even doing. That's our resolve. And we say that this is just a warning. That is why we are limiting it to just two days. It's a warning strike. You could observe that some flights left here this morning. We left them. And that's why we came here. Like I said earlier, we want people to know. Because some people will say, ah, they always come out without, without, without any reasonable... You know, there is a lot of propaganda out there. Even from our ministries. That maybe we have something else that we want to achieve. They are tying everything to politics. We are not political here. It's not about politics. It's about the welfare of our members. You know, condition of service is like a Quran and a Bible. Yes. And if you don't have any, it is whatever your employer uh, do to you that you must chew. They are using 10 years ago negotiated conditions of service. Why are we afraid to review it, considering the circumstances? Why? That's our plight. Uh, the protest uh, is uh, on uh, three principal issues. 
Uh, one is the fact that uh, since 2019, uh, when we had a new minimum wage, a particular, uh, two particular agencies in the aviation industry are yet to benefit from that act. Uh, that is uh, NIMET and the uh, AIB. Despite approvals, necessary approvals that have been given, they have not been paid. And uh, that is one of the legs of the disagreements. The second is that the conditions of service for some of the agencies uh, which had been gone through due process, uh, some of them for up to 13 years, have been lying uh, fallow at the Salaries and Wages Commission and the Office of the Head of uh, Civil Service of the Federation. And uh, all efforts, including by the Ministers of Aviation and Minister of Labor, have all failed to achieve the desired uh, result. And uh, that's the second uh, leg of our issue. The third issue is that the Minister of Aviation is hell-bent in demolishing the headquarters of the agencies in Lagos without providing any alternative uh, uh, office space for the people working uh, in those uh, uh, or in those organizations or adequately relocating them. And we think that they have a sinister intention in doing that. So we have asked that they halt that process so that we can have time to plan a proper means of moving the headquarters of the agencies out of the present location so that they will use it for whatever the purpose that it has been designed for. Uh, so these are the issues that we are dealing with. The meeting had in attendance a number of uh, other uh, personalities, including from the Minister of Labor, Minister of Aviation, and the other aviation agencies. The bottom line is that the meeting was unable to give any guarantees whatsoever as to when these conditions of service will be released and when this uh, uh, consequential adjustment for the minimum wage will be fully play paid with the areas. Uh, so no guarantees could be given and so no assurances could be given also from our side. Okay, so what is your resolve now? Our resolve is that we will conclude our two days warning strike. And uh, if the warning strike fails to achieve the desired result, then we will go full scale as from next week or thereabout. No, uh, you know, you, you, you call for dialogue when there is a negotiation. If two parties are negotiating, then you can, you know, you can negotiate. But this is a negotiation that had concluded for 9, 10, 11 years. It's just for the Salaries and Wages Commission and the Office of the Head of Service to release the documents for implementation. Now, this, these documents have set the workers back by the same number of years. We ought to have reviewed these same documents about three times since they have been held down. All that, all that is lost. And uh, somebody mentioned today, uh, in trying to plead with us to call it off, I was talking about the losses that the airlines and other airport businesses would don't, will, will suffer as a result of this strike action. And I told the person whether he has considered the losses the workers have incurred for 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 years. Some people have gone. Some have died without getting their due benefit that ordinarily the law entitles them to. So the losses don't happen only on one side. Okay. We have to balance it with other, the other side. Now, 